Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm one of the zookeepers here at the Houston Zoo in our natural de encounters department. We're in our meerkat yard. You guys get to meet our meerkats today. So we have four meerkats and a group of meerkats is called a mob. So we have three girls and one boy in our mob. Our male's name is Capone and Capone is 11 years old. And our three girls are named Dottie, Kit, and May. And Dottie, Kit, and May are very special. They're actually turning four on Saturday. So you guys should come out and see us celebrate them on Saturday. We've got a really fun birthday party planned for them. Now meerkats are showing off what they do best, which is digging and foraging. So right now they have a sand pit with bugs in it, one of their favorite foods. And it's encouraging them to dig around and find some of those delicious treats, just like they would do in the Kalahari Desert in Africa. So mobs of meerkats will spend a lot of their time digging a really expansive tunnel system where they will live. They spend most of their time in their tunnels and they have different rooms. They have like a nursery, an air, a den where they can sleep, um, different tunnels that connect all these different chambers as well. And their tunnel systems can be very big. They can um, go the length of about two football fields and go down underground about 10 feet. So they can be very, very large. So these guys are really, really good diggers. They're built for it. So they've got that curved spine, which helps them kick out dirt. They've got really long curved nails that act a lot like shovels so that they can dig that dirt very easily. And they're lacking a collarbone so that they don't need to dig tunnels that are quite as wide. They can just um, dig a, a smaller diameter tunnel and squeeze into pretty tight spaces, which is pretty cool. Now these meerkats are as big as they come. So they're full grown adults, even though they're only four, or at least three of them are four. Um, they are about two pounds and from tip of the nose to the tip of their tail, it's about two feet and they stand tall about one foot in height. So today for enrichment, they have this dig pit. So it's a bunch of sand that we put in there with some of their favorite foods, which is gonna be mealworms today. They get a variety of different bugs to eat. So they get to dig into that. And then you can also see Capone digging in our um, sod pile. So we've got some beautiful hibiscus flowers to celebrate spring. And he's digging in a nice fresh pile of grass. Now mob members, um, a mob can be as large as about 40 different individuals. So pretty large families and they all have different jobs. They work to protect each other. They work to help, help each other out. So you, you'll see meerkats on what we call sentry duty. And those are meerkats that are standing in higher places looking out for predators. And we've got worker meerkats that are digging tunnels, helping find food. We even have special meerkats that will help take care of any young pups or babies that are born into the mob. So meerkats can, like I said, they're built for digging and they can dig about 10 feet underground. So they can do a lot of digging. And this exhibit does actually allow for them to do a lot of deep digging too, which is really nice. They, get, they have a very nice tunnel system throughout our exhibit. So when you guys come out here on Saturday to celebrate their birthday, you can take a look at all of their handiwork because all of the tunnels in this exhibit, they have dug themselves. Meerkats have pretty good eyesight, comparable to what we have, but what makes them a really cool is they have those dark circles around their eyes, which act one like sunglasses do, so it helps reflect the sunlight away from them so that they don't get that glare. And then it also kind of helps focus their vision so that they can see across the desert grasslands um, pretty well, again, to spot any predators. Meerkats are a type of mongoose, so other mongooses like the, that you would find in Africa um, are going to be the closest relatives of these guys.
Meerkats have a really, really good sense of smell and really good hearing as well. So they can hear very small sounds, um, which will alert them to any potential dangers. Um, and they'll com communicate with each other by barking and chirping um, to let their mob mates know whether or not there's danger. So how many different meerkats, how many different species of meerkats are there is um, a really good question. There is just one species and you are looking at them. Um, these guys, they're uh, Siricata Siricata, so just uh, meerkats from the Kalahari Desert. These guys will eat um, a variety of foods, so they're an opportunistic omnivore. So that means that they'll basically eat anything they can get their little mouths on. Um, so they really like bugs, and in their natural environment, they're going to eat a lot of scorpions, which is a delicacy for them. But any grass roots, root vegetables, anything like that that they come across, they will also eat. So some of their favorite enrichment is going to be things that bring them bugs. So we like to put their bugs in all sorts of different kinds of enrichment. Um, and we focus a lot on their natural behaviors, which would be digging, foraging. So um, anything that incorporates their food, they're really going to like. Um, these guys also like to kind of den down. So um, sometimes we'll give them different um, like large leafy um, plants and stuff that they can kind of hide in or nest with, things like that. Um, in their back kind of bedroom area, they do get some fun things like blankets that they can um, kind of hide behind and things like that, which is really fun. So when meerkats are sitting up like this, <laughs> um, they are sunning themselves basically. So the the skin on the on their underbelly is going to be the thinnest. So they'll point that to the sun on nice cool days so that it warms them up. Um, and that's also the same position that you'll see a meerkat in when they're on sentry duty. So you can see that she's looking up, looking around, checking out any loud sounds that she hears, making sure that she protects the mob while her mob mates are digging for food. And they'll switch off this job so that everyone gets a chance to eat and everyone takes part in protecting the family. And if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Sarah and we are in our um, Natural Encounters meerkat yard. So we are meeting our four meerkats that we have here. We have three females, three girls named Dottie, Kit and May and one male named Capone. They're digging around looking for some of their favorite treats and today that's going to be mealworms. But they do eat a variety of bugs. We give them crickets, different types of worms. Sometimes they even get roaches, which is really fun. So in the wild, they do have a variety of predators, but one of their, big, their biggest predator is gonna be a special type of hawk called an auger buzzard, which is similar to the red-tailed hawk that you find here. Um, and so when they're on sentry duty, they're not only looking um, across the grasslands for anything like servals that might try to get them, but also into the skies for any hawks or owls that might be looking for a nice snack. You can see how they're using those long curved nails of theirs to dig into the ground and that's exactly how they would dig their ex extensive tunnel systems as well. These guys are built for digging. So if you guys haven't already heard, the zoo is turning 100 year years old in April and we are having a big birthday celebration for the zoo on April 30th. So if you haven't already, make sure you get your tickets. It, we are gonna sell out very quickly. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We've got a lot of fun activities planned for that day. And um, it's free for members. So if you're a member, please come on out on April 30th to celebrate with us. And if not, make sure you get your tickets now. All of the fun activities are included in your um, normal entry price but we hope to see everyone out there to celebrate with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And again, if you're gonna be um, out here enjoying the weather with us this Saturday, it is Dottie, Kit, and May's fourth birthday. So we're gonna have a fun birthday celebration for them as well. So the structure of meerkats, their social structure is really unique. So they're a matriarchal society. And this meerkat here, this is May. 
and May is our alpha female. So she's the one who's in charge. She gets to call the shots. She's the one who gets to breed and um, have any babies. Um, and she, like I said, she kind of runs, rules the roost. She's our alpha. So believe it or not, these guys have their own personalities. They're a lot of fun. Um, Capone being the, um, ma the only male of the group, he's really relaxed. Um, he is a, just a, a sweetheart. He's very sweet. He's curious. Um, May, given that she is the alpha female, she kind of is a little bit more pushy. Um, she likes to have her way as the alpha. Um, Kit and Dottie are really fun. They're playful. They like to play around with one another. Um, and they all take turns kind of doing the different jobs, scavenging. They're all very, very curious. So it's really fun to give them enrichment and different food opportunities because um, they are they very much like to explore. Their hearing is really good. So someone asked how their hearing is. They have really good hearing. Um, they hear sounds at a lower vibration than we do. So they're able to detect you know, danger as it's coming in um, pretty quickly. For those of you guys just joining us, welcome. We are at our Natural Encounters uh, meerkat yard. And we are looking at our three female meerkats, Dottie, Kit, and May. And we have one male, his name is Capone. Now you might hear a helicopter of, up above us. That's fairly normal for us, but it's still something that sounds a lot like danger. So whenever those helicopters come around, everybody scatters and runs to safety. So this is just like if they were to see a hawk in the wild, they would run into their tunnels to keep themselves safe. We have one sentry kind of looking out, making sure the coast is clear. When it's clear, they will give each other some low grunts um, to let them know that, hey, it's safe, you're good to come out, so that the other meerkats will come out from their tunnels. You might be able to hear them kind of grunting and chirping to one another now. They're all on alert, looking around, and once they feel comfortable, they'll start to come back over and dig through the pit looking for those delicious mealworms again. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you join us next Wednesday at a special um, at 9 a.m. for our special, a special time that we've got planned for you guys.